right, guys. So you know what that time is. Uh, time to talk Texas football. Um, so I've been looking, and you know what I usually do. I usually go onto Facebook, so you can see. And I usually go and look at different, what do you call it? We go look at different comments and everything and take in consideration that what was the score again? 45-48. The only the only weird call that it like puzzled me was whenever they were fourth and fourth and seven and he decided to go and pass instead of run the ball. When you have like a re like okay you're, you're uh, sitting there with your quarterback, who is named 18-wheeler, um, and you have, what's his name, Warren, the running back, 25. You have him, and they're both, you know, they're both, like, Warren is, like, going and breaking tackles like no other, like, they just can't keep <clears throat> a grip on him or anything like that. And you have that guy that you named 18-wheeler, and he's supposed to go and do that, but yet they go and pass. That call really, like, puzzled me, and I didn't understand that, and I didn't get why they did that. Um, but I'm reading through um, a lot of, what do you call it? a lot of comments and everything and there was one that I found funny what is it this guy right here I can see that I live in Kentucky and when strong was at Louisville he coached in the Big East and American conferences uh, two of the weakest conferences in college football he had a decent record against mediocre teams at, at best he isn't the answer at Texas I knew from day one. Uh, it's time for a change. You know, most times people are going to go and say that and all of that um, because they want somebody to go and blame, and this is the only way that they can go and do it. Um, let's see. And, like, the guy, the guy has to go, and most other people have to realize that a lot of players, like a lot of the best players, Malik Jefferson, um, heard what I was um, trying to figure out. What happened to uh, Demonte Demonte Foreman? Like I like because we were Black Friday um, doing the whole Black Friday thing, and I don't know exactly what happened. If anybody can let me know, leave it in the comments and all of that. Um, but this that guy Warren. <laughs> He is one heck of a player. Like, it's it's going to be a great thing to see next year and to see um, what he can actually do in the in this like in the next coming years because people have to realize that he's only a freshman and um, what do you call it? And he was breaking records, which is like completely. If you think about it, it's completely insane and like. Who, who's this, like, he's, I, I, I don't even, I'm, like, so lost for words because you're, like, because like, I was reading at one point, um, where have they been hiding him? Like, I, I, I kind of wonder that, too, and I like how this guy, Alex Murray, if Texas goes and fire strong, I will no longer be a fan. Uh, the main players that are, per, the main, the, the main players that are producing are his recruits. Just imagine what he could do with a couple more years. Be patient, and good things will come. Uh, Rome wasn't built in a day. Like, honestly, I think so, too. I, I just think they went and Texas made some stupid mistakes, and they should have gone and rethought a lot of things like... I, I just can't wait until next year about the fact that, um, what do you call it, that we're going to have such an amazing team. And he's getting these recruits. And you have to think, like, sometimes, like, some of these recruits, like, they weren't, um, 
what do you call it, five-star recruits or stuff like that. Like, a lot of them, he's developing them, and they're becoming, like, the top players. And I'm I'm just going to laugh because a lot of these people that are on there, um, what do you call it, they, they just want somebody to blame and everything. And, you know, it's like one of those things, everybody who's going to go and do that, it's going to happen, and it's just, it's just going to be like the continuing circle. But um, with that, guys, I'm going to leave uh, Leo go. Um, we're supposed to go get up early and do all that fun stuff. Um, my brother and I, we're supposed to go to GameStop at like 4.30 in the morning. So I'm going to be really tired. I'm going to see if I can record that or get him to record that as we're driving down there and all of that fun stuff. Um, let me know if y'all are going Black Friday say, uh, shopping, anything like that. We're going to go check out some pet stores too. Um, but yeah, let me know and leave it in the comments. Um, tell me what you bought, anything like that. But I will see you guys tomorrow. And remember, guys, that we, you know, we're getting there. Our defense is getting there. Our offense is getting there. And a lot of these kids are freshmen, redshirt freshmen. They don't have very much experience. And there's more, like, they're bringing in, because, like, our top players are freshmen, too. And, like, they're bringing in other freshmen to go and cover that. But I will see you guys tomorrow. Um... <clears throat> so stay beautiful stay positive never give up and always be true to who you are guys i love you and hook em horns